So welcome to the Leathercraft Masterclass with me, Phil, and today's tabletop tip is all about the skirt shave, also internationally known as the French edger. Now this is an amazing tool for finishing off edges, scarving edges, also thinning out parts where you want to fold leather, such as in briefcase making, for example, and a number of other applications. It's great to have uh, one of these tools in your kit. Now the traditional way, or the most popular way, should I say, of sharpening this is to sharpen the back side of it, the rear side here, by pulling it backwards along a strop. Now this is what most people do, including myself, to touch up the edge before use. But every so often, or perhaps when you purchase the tool and the inside is quite rough, this point here, or perhaps you've gone ahead and used a sharpening stone and you've created a burr on the inside that needs to be polished off. How do you get to the inside? Now a lot of kits sometimes come with a strip of leather the distance apart that these two guides are here, which is the length of the blade or the width of the blade rather, and you simply place it down, face down onto it and pull backwards. But the issue with that is you're starting to round the end and you're creating less of a blade shape and more of a wedge. So after a while, it's gonna get more and more difficult to try and cut through your leather. So to combat that, yes, keep doing this method where you're polishing the back, but the inside could be polished by taking a strip of leather, the width of the guides or the width of the blade, on your French edger. And I've just added some polishing compound. You probably see the green there. And I'm gonna place it inside, okay? So you can see now it's actually inside between the guides rather than at a funny angle like this. So we're having it along the blade. Now all I have to do is pull that through, as you can see. One, Two, every so often, okay? And we're not adding a steeper and steeper progressive angle to the blade, so it's gonna keep it nice and sharp. And that's all you have to do every so often, every time you sharpen it on the stones, every time you wanna add a little bit more polish, it's always good to get both sides in. So that's how to get it nice and sharp and taking a terrible piece of soft goat flank, the ultimate test for any blade really, it easily cuts through that, which would normally be very, very difficult, and only a very, very sharp blade can do it.